guys, working at Deeper Bank here, chasing some barren jacks. It's been a bit of a warm um, couple of days, so obviously the water's quite warm as well. So we're just working this deep bank, throwing some plastics. I've got a five inch Nori Spoontail Shad rig weedlessly. Um, and what I'm doing with this is I'm just throwing it deep into the structure to try and um, see what's sitting lower. Chris has got a hard body on, so he's working the next column up, and we're just trying to figure out where the fish is sitting depending on the water temperature. So we'll give it a crack, and we'll see how we go. Nice. Great job. <laughs> Absolute stud. Nice. Yes. Had a bit of a slow morning. Um, just working some fallen timber over here. And we were just talking about it being a quite slow and saying that yesterday when I hit this spot, it was a little bit less water. But now, we've just been working, working, working. The water drops a little bit. I was just slow winding it in and I got bloody thumped by the stud of a jack. Again, Norris five inch spoontail shad doing the damage, but that is a great jack to start the morning. Great jack. Nice fish, fat fish, aggressive take. Again, just slow winding it straight out of the snags and he's just come out and pumped it. Really, really good fish. We'll get a couple photos and we'll let him go. Tell you what, this fish pulled really, really hard for the structure we're in. I'm using a JML Sensation baitcaster rod, the trophy hunter. Um, it's six, six foot eight, so it's nice and long to get those deep casts into the snags. And it worked perfectly pulling this jack out of the, out of the structure. Now this fella went 43 centimeters. I caught it for a bit bigger, but I'll tell you what, you've got to be happy with that. So either way, we'll let him go. Fight another day. I don't like to keep these fish as they just take too long to grow, but they're pretty good chewing, but not today. It's awesome, let's get another one. Oh, oh that's the stick, I found it. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Cool bags. <laughs> Did he, did he hit that first or something? Yeah. I'm off anyway, that's good. Pill bag, number one for the day. You are the pill bag king. No, I'm not. Can't yeah, just... I'm with this. Cheers. I don't think there's anyone here that could catch pills better than you, eh? Not even... Oh, I feel bass set in there, did you see? Yeah, you're like, oop, there's a hit and then buzz. I thought that was a jack. The way it sort of hit, followed you out, hit again. I was like, he's on here. Dirty pill bag. Check the top of my tackle box. Yep, fish. Oh, good fish. Trev. Oh. Trev. Yeah. Big Trev. Oh, oh bruh. Oh, it's a good Trev. Do you want to move? Or you are? Woo! It's a, fucking, <laughs> it's a stud. Dude, it's a Lawson Lindsay stud. 
get a double cross over that. Oh, Sonia. Oh, you're kidding me. There's a horse! STUD. Bit of a welcome change from the jack I just caught. Um, I was just throwing my plastic on the bottom, hopping it. And the Trevally just smashed it. Didn't even know I was on until I saw my line hooking through the water. But for a Creek G, it's pretty big size. Say two or three kilos. Again, Norris five inch spoon tail shad doing the damage. But not a bad fish. Pretty happy with that. I'd say, yeah, I'd say about three kilos. Nice fish, really nice. But we'll uh we'll uh, take the hook out and we'll let him go. And I was like, yes, my daughter. Oh, well, look at that. I just spooked a huge barra sitting in there. See the swirl at the left? Yeah. Oh, I spooked it, man. Oh, look at that fish I spooked again! Oh, I think my lure is just hitting the water too hard. Just, just changing colour, the last Norris that I was using, a bit smashed up, but we'll whack this one on and we'll keep it going. Good. Yeah, I reckon that's what's happened. Bit of nuclear chicken colour, eh? Yeah, Dude, you should feel these Canadian. Oh! It's got, look at it. Is it working? I don't know, but it's bow waving this way. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, that was a meter barra. It was getting chased, that's why it's jumping. Look, there it is, there it is over there, look, look. See it's bow wave? Oh my god. Dude, that was the biggest barra I've ever seen. Did like, you, you, did you have the I got all of it, all of it, I got the whole jump. I wish, oh. Imagine if we hooked it. More than a metre. Dude, he would have been a metre 20. Metre 20, any day of the week. You're kidding, just here. Just airborne. Dude, that was like. I reckon he was getting chased, man. Yeah. The way, because I. He got spooked by us. He was just sitting there on the flat. He's still there. Dude, he was just sitting here, look, on the... Look, look. He's chasing bait now. No, where is he? Just here. On the other side of that current line. No, oh my god. Oh, in the zone.
Yeah. Power, man. It's power. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I felt the hit and everything. This is good power. Get my camera out. Get my camera out. Oh, oh yeah, right. The phone's good. This is a good power. Can you slowly just drive us out? Oh yeah, good power here. Just hopping the five inch nori spoon tail shad around some sunken structure over there. And I've pulled a nice fish, I'd say mid 60s here. Good, good fish, biggest in, a, biggest in a while actually. Oh. 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 Just pinned him on the top of the head. Tell you what, oh, I'm so pumped. I've been working so hard for this fish, so so hard. It's been ages since we got a good legal barra. Chris has been the one that's been banging them lately. But I tell you what, I've just worked this plastic nice and slow along the bottom, had a hit, struck, and this is the reward. A nice 70 centimeter barra. I tell you what, I've worked so so hard for this fish. I mean, he's not a monster by the terms of how they grow, but he's my biggest this season, and. I'm so, so happy with that. So happy. What a fish. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. And just before season closes, and the season closes on the 1st of November, and it opens again on the 1st of February, midday, so just remember that. But we're not going to keep this guy. We'll let him go, and um, we'll keep fishing, eh? <laughs> so bub, stoked. Absolutely stoked. Righto, a couple of photos, a couple of quick snaps, and we'll throw them in the water. Um, just remember to try and always support these fish. We don't want to crush their guts. If you hang them, their guts fall at the back, they crush it, you put strain on their ligaments in their, in their mouth. And you just don't want to do that to such a precious little fish. Righto, we'll let them go. You can see he's starting to kick and pull a bit, so he's ready to go. Righto. Absolutely pumped, so happy. Hey guys, we're finally back at the house after what was a pretty productive day. We've got some good barra, some good jack, um, and a mix of other species that, you know, were hit by salmon, valley, all that kind of stuff. Um, lost more fish than I can count, really had a lot of barra hits, just couldn't really um, connect. Um, and that, that jumping barrow that we saw was just unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. It was it was by far the biggest barrel I've ever seen. It was giant. I know the footage doesn't do it justice, but that fish was a dollar twenty, meter twenty, any day of the week. It was massive, unbelievably massive. But yeah, so we found the fish sitting quite deep today. Normally, um, I find them in the shallows, in the shallower snags, but. Today I just decided to try something different, go out of my comfort zone, hit a nice deep bank, work the plastics hard on the bottom. Um, I was fishing a five inch nori, spoon tail shad, weedlessly rigged, but with enough weight to get right down, and just hopping along the bottom nice and slow, and it worked. It, it worked a treat. I got my biggest jack uh, of the day off the bottom like that, and again, that barrow as well, which, oh, as you could tell, I was so happy about. I haven't really tried to focus on barrow this season, I've been more trying to knuckle down on the mango jack and just trying to feed them out as a species, but that barrel was a welcome by catch and it's got me hooked. I'll definitely be doing more of that. I can't wait to get out and tangle with them again, obviously before close season starts, but they 
they're just one of those fish that just gets your heart pumping. As soon as you hook them, you know instantly by the hit. They jump, they carry on, they have big deep runs, and, and they're, just, they're just awesome. We're gonna end the video here. If you loved it, please guys, give it a like, give it a subscribe. There's plenty more to come. See you soon.